Welcome to 50 Woodville Street, Edgware. Uh, this is one of the homes that will hopefully be on the Super Home Tour. As you can see, it will be a mid-build um, viewing. It was built in 1913 as a villa um, and was severely damaged in the 4th of September 2010 earthquake. We've been battling EQC and insurance companies since then um, to get this house renovated. The positive side of that, of course, is that now we're now turning into a high performance, healthy home um, villa restoration. So a super villa. So um, obviously, as I just said, this was severely smashed up in the, in the Christchurch earthquake sequence. Primarily the September earthquake with a lot of liquefaction and flooding in this area. Um, the structural resilience is a key part of, of every healthy home, every high performance home. And there is nothing solid under this under these foundations in this ground. So we've used a forest of six metre long poles at, at 910 millimetre centres under this foundation to stiffen the ground. And then we've put a, a 300 mil thick concrete, under, fully reinforced concrete under slab under here. And we have, then we've used these ABI piers as, um, as our foundation support, like piles to support the floor structure. Um, and you can see on the outside, we've taken the weatherboards off. We have uh, rigid air buried with, with ply bracing. That's, that'll be our bracing layer. And we've got Pro Climbers Solar Tech stanza on the outside um, as the weather type membrane. So when I moved into this house in 2009, it was looking in a not very transitional villa state, but it is actually a twin of this house next door, which had been renovated. So this house has been my inspiration over the last 13 years and hopefully in the next few weeks when you come and visit we will have a little replica sitting next door to this one but if you really want to come and see my house this is what it will hopefully look like on the outside wow. okay, it's 1910 okay. transitional villa this is what it looked in 1953. I was fortunate to buy the house off the cousins of someone I went to school with, so they gave me this photo. So the aim is to restore the exterior of the house to look like this. As you can see, we're getting there. The sun porch is gone, the um, flat goldfish straight window is gone. We've got a repurposed bay window. And the aim is for, to put replica chimneys pots at the top so there will be no chimneys inside the house they've gone but there'll be some replica chimney pots on the roof so when we um, went to pick this house up to move it to the back of the site so we could do the foundations I just showed before we discovered that the the rear lean-to section of the house was had it um, very really poorly constructed uh, almost an after afterthought as they often were in those days and so they've been replaced with a uh, new, whole new um, rear of the house. And then we've insulated with Terralina insulation. Um, and that's all in, in now. Then the next step is to use the Intello, Proclimber Intello wrap to help make the house as airtight as we possibly can. So I'm now standing in what was the um, lounge uh, chimney which has been come out. One of the questions that everybody asks is how are we going to uh, make these old floorboards airtight because the old tongue and groove floorboards are far, far from airtight. Um, after lots of discussion we've decided to spray foam um, under here and that will hopefully happen in a couple of weeks. The spray foam will make the, the floor very very airtight and highly insulated. So the idea of uh, the renovation of Margaret's villa is to try and return it as close as possible to period style. So that means keeping the old doors um, and all the wood panelling will stay, 
the skirting. And skirting, so as much of the history as possible. And the windows. Uh, oh, and, and Margaret's trying to keep the old windows too. I've, I've spent hours and hours trying to talk her around <laughs> for some for new airtight windows, but she's not having a bar. So, so I tried to make things airtight, but... Uh, so we're, we're double glazing with Metro glass. Yes, we are going to put some double glazing units in with Metro and uh, Darren Ballantyne will be here on the day to, to explain the difference performance in low E glass that they have around. So one of the features of, of these old villas um, is no doings. Look, no doings, I can walk through, no doings, no doings, no dogs, no needed, not needed. So um, it makes it very, very easy uh, to add extra insulation and and a lot a lot easier, a lot less thermal bridging. So this is Terralana insulation, wall insulation, local Christchurch product and very easy to install. See it's installed pretty tightly there. Um, very